Honestly, at this point, I feel like I hear about a new crypto scam every single day. And for some reason, it seems like 90% of them have something to do with MetaMask. So I don't know if that's a coincidence or maybe MetaMask just needs to get canceled. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, something needs to be done about this. The typical MetaMask scam or hack is where someone is trying to get your seed phrase. However, the scam we're going to be talking about today involves you accidentally giving them your seed phrase. And oh, no, no, no. It's not one of those stupid telegram scams where they tell you, check out this brand new amazing project. You click the link and just to, and just to see the project, you have to give them your seed phrase. I'm not talking about something as stupid as that. Please never fall for something like that. I mean, that's like just never give your seed phrase i don't I, I shouldn't even have to say that because when you make a wallet it tells you about 50 times this right here is the metamask website you can install the browser right here connects directly to your google chrome and boom you sign in with your seed phrase and there you go you got your wallet all connected to your google chrome but here's the catch this is not metamask this is a fake metamask website where they're trying to get you to download the browser extension and log in with your seed phrase once you do that it's game over you're done for to say the least hold up let me get my big head out of here check this out like this literally looks like the normal metamask website it like is there anything that really like tells you like oh it's a little fishy maybe i'm on the wrong website wait where how do i get my webcam back where am I? There we go. Okay, so yesterday somebody sent me this. This is on Reddit. A friend of mine is using Firefox and installed MetaMask extension. When he tried importing his account, nothing happened. There was an error. And then he checked his ETH account and the $30 he had in there was completely gone. It was directly sent out of the wallet. He realized what happened. His information was taken via a fake extension. Guys, this is... This is scary stuff. Personally, this is the first time I've heard about something like this. This exact post was posted five months ago. So it seems like this is not something new, but I wanna warn you guys and remind every single person to double check what MetaMask you're even logging into. Personally, I recommend the app over the Google Chrome extension. I think it's way safer, but I mean, at the end of the day, MetaMask is MetaMask. If you haven't heard about what happened to my MetaMask wallet, click this link up here. It's a really interesting story. If you haven't seen those videos, you don't want to miss out. It is crazy what we discovered, and the investigation is currently still going on. After he realized all the information was taken, he deleted the extension and even deleted Firefox. He now has a new account, and the whole reason for this post, he says right here, he just wanted to share it to warn people so they're not the next victim. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm trying to do here. He even did us a solid by leaving a screenshot of the scam extension. Look at this, guys. It just says MetaMask Wallet by MetaMask.io. I would fall for this too. I mean, if I had, if I was using Firefox and stuff, which I, I don't use Firefox. Back when I was like six, I did. I used to play with Fireflies too. It even says they have a five-star rating. Like in the corner of my eye, I'd just be like, oh yeah, this is the right one. Add a Firefox, log in. It's another one of those scams that you feel so stupid for when you realize what you did. But in the moment, like, was he ever thinking like anything different? He's like, oh, I'm gonna go on my Firefox and just get MetaMask on there. He he never really thought of it. It's just not cool. And it just puts a bad rep on crypto in general. All these scams I see, I can't even log into an NFT Discord without getting like 50,000 messages of like all these scams. Like I'm getting scam emails, scam Instagram messages, scam this, scam this, scam that, scam. I personally can't put a stop to this, but I can inform people. So I'm gonna continue to do that. So what are these scammers doing with the stolen money? Are they out there buying Lambos and new property? No, they're out there buying Google advertisements. So when people search for the term MetaMask, potentially a scam MetaMask advertisement could pop up. I've seen this with YouTube channels. I haven't seen it with MetaMask yet. For example, I was watching like BitBoy stream a couple months ago and at the bottom, there was like a BitBoy arbitrage or something. And he's talked about it before. That is completely fake. It's a scam, but Google still allows the advertisement. But just searching on normal Google, you're still at risk. How does Google not stop this? Like, it's almost like they don't care. I mean, maybe they just can't because there's so much of it. But even in the comment section, I mean, you could literally go in my comment section right now and it's probably literally fluttered with tons of scams. I love the scam comments like, hey, 
do you know Thomas Muckerin, the best crypto trader out there? And then there'll be like a comment under it. I love Thomas Muckerin. He gives the best great advice for crypto investors. Next comment. I love his service. He is excellent. <laughs> I see it every day. I feel like I'm the only YouTuber that sits there all day of my life deleting these suckers. Does anybody want to get hired? I'll literally pay you like 15 bucks an hour to sit there and delete these scam comments. No joke. That sounds like torture. So never mind. Sorry. No offer. Hearing about the Google ads definitely kind of freaks me out. I feel like any new investor would just be like, oh, there's MetaMask and just click the side like something like this on the side. Like, oh, MetaMask. Oh, let me just go with MetaMask real quick. And then literally what it pops up, the exact MetaMask layout. They won't even be questioning if it was a bad link. They'll just be like, oh, yeah, I'm on the proper website. Maybe if it sent them to like a suspicious looking website, they like question it. But look at this, guys. Like this caught my eye. Google is allowing a fisher to buy sponsored ads on their search results. When using crypto, try to use direct links. And if you need to use search, watch out for the sponsored links. So let me show you what that means. When you search on Google sometimes, you'll get a sponsored ad and that can be at the top of the page. This time I didn't get one, but it'll be like sponsored ad and then it'll be like MetaMask, some browser extension and that one will be the scam. So you gotta make sure you find the legit one, metamask.io. You're almost better off just searching metamask.io directly in the browser. These scams will continue to occur. We just gotta be real vigilant, watch out, protect ourselves, and just be smart. If you think it looks fishy, if you think it looks sketch, don't click on it, or you're gonna end up learning the hard way like I did. I will continue to do my job and update you guys on all the latest scams. If you haven't already, join my telegram and please, please, please hit that subscribe button because look at this, it's a shame. Please click that like button for my 15,000 pound cat. He's awesome. He just doesn't want to be on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Always keep your head up and stay positive and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.